Hey guys, welcome back after a very long time. So today I'm going to unbox a smart plug from Realme. So as the name suggests, it's a plug uh, which is smart. So you can control it via your mobile phone over the internet or the Wi-Fi. So let's quickly unbox it and it has some good features. So I'll explain it to you guys. So let's quickly unbox it and see how to set it up and what are the features. So without any further delay, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I bought it from Flipkart. Uh, so let's quickly open the packaging. So this is what I get, uh, what you will get also. So yeah, this is what the packaging looks like. Uh, this is the bill. And the MRP is like around, uh, let's see the MRP itself. So this is the product that we get, nothing else inside the box. So this is what we get. So it's quite small. I didn't thought of it to be like this small, but yeah, the box is pretty small. As you can see and at the back side we have some information I hope you can see uh, it's a smart plug 6 amperes and the price quoted at the back side is 1299 but you can easily get it around like 799 or around that price but if you get a good deal on it just go and grab it and it's one of the cheapest smart plug that you can buy but the only downfall is that it supports only up to 6 amperes of uh, load so probably around 1000 watts of load to be precise uh, well, uh, your normal appliances will be controlled easily, so no issues over there. So here, if we do, we do have a seal as you can see. So let's quickly really open this thing and take a look at the product itself. So we'll simply open the seal and yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's quite a small as you can see. It's a very small box, and we do have a user guide over here. So control the smart plug with your Google Assistant. So it does support the Google Assistant and. Amazon Alexa as well so you can uh, like use it with your smart speakers we'll take a look at that as well so I'll keep it over here it's quite small as you can see and we do have a small uh, quick start guide on how to like set it up for the first time and here we have our plug so I'll take it out so that's it from the box so we do have this plug so let's take a quick physical overview so at the front we have the holes for putting your uh, uh, socket then we do have a small LED indicator over here at the top we have maximum 1500 watts so yeah you can get it up to 1500 watts not 1000 at the bottom we do have a small button to enable the pairing mode at the back side we have the three pins to put, put it into your power socket and uh, as you can see over here 6 amperes maximum and 100 to 250 volts of voltage range and yeah that's pretty much it for the physical overview so let's now quickly put it into a power socket and see how does it work okay so guys this is the spare wall socket that i have at my place so we'll simply connect this uh, uh, smart plug into it and we'll simply turn on the switch over here now let's see what happens and uh, i hear a quick click noise and as you can see red led is blinking uh, steady over here so let's see okay so the red led indicates that the plug is turned on right now if we press the button button then it will simply turn off and you will hear a quick click sound so if i turn it on it it simply turns on and if i hold this button it will be uh, going into a pairing mode so let's hold it for a couple of seconds as you can see the light is blinking it means that uh, it's in a pairing mode so in order to set up this thing with your smartphone is that you have to download an app called as realme link it's available for both android and ios so you can download it from the respective stores so if you open the app first of all you are greeted with this inter interface simply click on this plus icon uh, simply wait for here to like show up your device or you can simply uh, choose from these categories as you can see it did list my device over here so i'll simply tap it over here it says connect this device to 2.4 gigahertz band because it does not support dual band so okay that's it okay then simply provide the network uh, that you uh, want this device to connect to uh, so i have uh, entered my credentials so simply click on next okay so after this it comes to this step so what it says simply go to wi-fi and connect to the realme plug wi-fi which is created so connected no internet simply go back to this app uh, so as you can see now it says setting uh, connected to network setup device so simply wait for a couple of seconds and it should like set up and as you can see it's blinking in blue color right now uh, instead of red so yeah wait for a couple of seconds and it should register your device um, yeah it's almost done uh, give it a name I will uh, um, rename it as smart plug ok 
okay so i have renamed it as smart plug click on done and there is an update available so let's quickly update it also so yeah it does have a good change log over here so simply wait for a couple of minutes and it should be done okay guys so the update took around like two minutes or so and after update it's done as you can see let me show it in the format update as you can see 1.0.6 so it's updated to its latest version so first of all on the screen you will see these options so as you can see timer then switch and schedules so if we tap on it it will simply turn it off as you can see it goes black and the led is turned off the moment i put it on it will simply glow and the plug is turned on right now then uh, we can also turn it on and off right from here and we do have the option for timer so we can simply enable a timer for it so if it is turned on right now it will be turned off after a set duration of time so we can also use the predefined and we can also make custom ones as well right from 1 minute to 59 minutes so that's pretty good thing so we can uh, turn on this uh, timer as well so it's good for uh, the mobile phone charging like if uh, if we set it for like one and a half hour it will simply turn on the turn off the plug after the particular uh, set time then we do have the options for schedules as well so we can simply set up our schedules that it will be turned on at this time and turn off at this time so it's good if you're like using it for like a water heater or so that it will uh, turn on and put your geyser on at particular uh, amount of time and then it will set it off after that schedule time but obviously this only supports up to 1500 watts of current so do not try that at this particular with this particular device but like small appliances it will be fine so this is how the three settings over here work so let's quickly go to this dots you can change uh, the name of your smart plug right from here then what it should act when uh, if there is a power cut and if the power is restored at what state it should be the resume the previous state so if it was turned off then it will be an off status if it is it was on then it will be an on status before the power cut then we can also create a group so if you like multiple devices or multiple smart uh, smart plug with you then you can simply create a group of them and control them with a single uh, app as well so that's pretty good thing then device sharing you can share the information of this device with another person then we have a net network settings so it will simply show us the uh, current network settings or the device uh, signal strength right from here mac address firmware update and all those things so uh, this is pretty much it from this app side overall the device looks pretty sturdy and it gets a bit warm it's been running right from like three four minutes and yeah it's pretty warm but yeah that's quite okay so yeah on and off it works fine so let's try it out with the app and then i'll show you how you can set it up with your alexa as well so let's quickly try it out first with the device so guys we are back onto our setup so what i did now i simply hooked up this softbox to the smart plug and let's try to turn it on and off right from this app so i will turn it off right now and as you can see it went off i'll turn it out right from here so yeah it works quite fine so turn off turn on turn off turn on so it does work fine and it's pretty fast as you can see the moment i turn it off it will simply go off from there and turn out right from there now let's try to turn off the wi-fi and see if it works over the mobile data or not so as you can see it did refresh a bit and it works over the mobile data as well so so even if you are like any part of the world you can control this device right from there because it works uh, irrespective of the wi-fi connection so it works over the internet so if even if you do not have wi-fi over there you can simply uh, like control this appliance with uh, this particular app so yeah it does work fine as you can see so over the app it works fine uh, a good thumbs up over here so now let's try to pair up with our alexa so guys what the user manual says is that you have to simply download this alexa app amazon alexa app so if you have the google home it has a bit different procedure but it's almost similar so once you are in this uh, thing simply go to more and uh, you will see skills and games so simply tap on it and uh, simply search for the realme uh, link to be precise yeah realme link so we'll simply search it over here uh, realme link and yeah it shows up over here so as you can see the first one is the realme link so simply tap on it and add to uh, or you can see enable to you so simply i'll simply enable it and you need to log in to uh, this uh, skill using your realme account so whenever you will use this realme link app you have to create an account so yeah we have to like log into this uh, with your account so i'll simply enter my credentials and i'll be back 
So guys, after like uh, signing into that app, so it says Realme Link account has been linked. So we'll simply click on close and it should like connect to my uh, smart plug to this. So let us discover the device. So must be discovered before they can be used with Alexa. So discover devices. Okay, so as you can see, it did found one plug and connected. So setup device, setup device and it's in my So yeah, the plug is added as you can see, it shows plugs over here and it should show up the smart plug. So let's try to turn it off from here. And as you can see, it did turn off. So there is a latency delay when we use it from Alexa app. So if I turn it on and yeah, it did turn on, off, on. Okay, so now let's give it a command. Alexa, turn off smart plug. And yeah, it did turn off as you can see. Alexa, turn on smart plug. Okay. Okay, so this thing did not change, uh, but yeah, it was working over the command. So smart plug, uh, it's working from here. Alexa, turn off smart plug. Okay. So yeah, huh, it did reflect right now, yeah, previously did not reflect. Alexa, turn on smart plug. Okay. And uh, it did not, uh, huh. it did change over here. It takes a couple of seconds of time to reflect over here, but yeah, it works fine. But if you want a very quick response, then use this Realme link app. It works very fast as you can see if I like go over here. It's really very fast as you can see the moment I tap it, it simply goes off and on. So yeah, it's pretty good thing. But if you want to control it from like if you're sitting far away, then Alexa is going to help you out. Alexa, turn off smart plug. Okay. <coughs> Alexa, turn on smart plug. Okay. So is now let's quickly try out with uh, Google Home as well. Uh, well, I do have a Google Home, but uh, it's not over here with me. So I'll try out with the app installed into it. So I'll, let's quickly go through this thing as well. So open Google Home app, simply go to Google Home app and uh, a quick click on add devices. So left app. Okay. So here we have an add device, set up a device. Uh, uh, so as you can see, it's a smart bulbs or plugs. So uh, select the second one. So one is already linked uh, to it. So I'll simply search for Realme link as you can see. So link account. So again, it will ask you to sign into that account. Okay. So after that, you have to simply authorize this. So simply authorize. Uh, yeah. Next step. Mm, we'll simply linking to realme link account so hmm just wait for a couple of seconds and i think it's done so link to as you can see smart plug over here so yeah uh, turn off okay yeah so it works right with this also turn on turn off turn on okay okay google Turn off smart plug. Okay. All right, turning the smart plug off. Okay, Google. Turn on smart plug. All right, turning the smart plug off. I think it's pretty fast with Google Home as compared to Alexa. But yeah, this is how it goes. So yeah, uh, it's quite useful if you are like a person who has like a lot of setup and if you want to trigger it all at once, then that's, it's pretty good. Although it can support up to 1500 watts of power. So that's pretty good thing or uh, your normal appliances should work fine uh, unless you run a heavy load like an air conditioner. So in that case, you need to like buy some uh, like a good uh, heavier uh, smart plugs that are available out in the market but for regular stuff it's quite fine and it will work fine with this device as well so uh, this is pretty much it for this video guys if you found this video really helpful then do it like button and subscribe button and stay tuned for more sick videos so thank you guys thanks for watching okay google turn off smart plug all right turning the smart plug off
<clears throat> and one more thing guys if you're like lazy enough like me then you can try this as well alexa turn on smart plug okay it works that way as well <laughs>